Because when you think of genes, typically, you think of them controlling things like your height, your eye color, uh, maybe even your, your likelihood of developing heart disease or diabetes. But to the extent that genes might actually predict your psychological behavior is a fertile and fascinating area of research. The way that they did this was they actually followed 20,000 young men between uh, grades 7 through 12 for some time. They did interviews with them. They took their blood. They tried to figure out was there something that would emerge as a predictor of violent behavior. And in fact, there was. Uh, there were three genes, as you mentioned, call them violence genes. They, they sort of predict that about 1% of the population has these genes. MAOA in the cycle of violence, childhood abuse and neglect, MAOA genotype, and risk for violent and antisocial behavior. This is another prospective cohort study that included 278 males, 98 of whom were non-white. Using self-reports by study participants to determine race slash ethnicity, the non-white group includes African Americans, Hispanics, American Indians, Pacific Islanders, and others. Notice that Asian Americans were not listed. Six of the 98 non-white males had the two repeat VNTR allele, 6%, compared to one of the 180 white males, 0.6%. 10 of the 143 non-white females, 7%, possessed a 2 repeat allele on one of their X chromosomes, compared to 5 of the 196 white females, 2.6%. None of the non-white males or females had the rare 5 repeat VNTR allele, compared to one of the white males and 4 of the white females. None of the non-white males and only one of the non-white females possessed a rare 3.5 repeat VNTR allele, compared to two of the white males and ten of the white females. These two studies, Rosenberg and others, and Widom and Brutus taken together suggest that African American men have a significantly higher prevalence of the violence associated to repeat VNTR allele of MAOA, unlike white men and Asian American men. One can further deduce from this, that African men would have even greater prevalence of the two repeat allele than African American men, who have some European African admixture. A non-additive interaction of a functional MAOA, VNTR and testosterone predicts antisocial behavior. This is a case control study of 165 Finnish men. Low activity MAOA genotypes were defined as having 3 or 5 repeats, and high activity meant having 3.5 or 4 repeats. Higher levels of testosterone were associated with increased Brown Goodwin lifetime aggression scale scores among individuals with the low activity MAOA genotype, but not among individuals with the genotype conferring higher levels of MAOA transcription. MAOA degrades norepinephrine to 3 methoxy 4 hydroxyphenyl glycol, or MHPG. So, if testosterone lowers MAOA function, higher testosterone levels will decrease cerebral spinal fluid MHPG levels. Higher levels of testosterone were associated with decreased cerebral spinal fluid MHPG among individuals with the reduction of function MAOA genotype, but not among individuals with a genotype conferring higher levels of MAOA transcription. The MAOA promoter contains three glucocorticoid androgen response elements and four binding sites for the SP1 and R1 transcription factors. Androgens have recently been shown to interact directly with the third glucocorticoid androgen response elements, and it also appears to act indirectly with SP1. Although androgens activated MAOA transcription, this effect was not as strong as that of glucocorticoids. Since glucocorticoids and testosterone compete for the same sites this may actually mean that high testosterone levels may lead to lower transcription of MAOA and lower MAOA levels. Ovarian steroid regulation of monoamine and oxidase A and B mRNAs in the macaque dorsal raphae and hypothalamic nuclei. This study of 20 female rhesus monkeys found that estrogen significantly reduces MAOA expression in the dorsal raphae nucleus and the hypothalamus of the brain. Other brain areas were not tested. The MAOA gene in rhesus monkeys is 92% identical to that of humans. Many studies show hormonal differences between blacks, whites, and Asians. Most research shows that blacks have higher testosterone levels than whites, but not all of the studies could achieve statistical significance. 
Nevertheless, even if whites and blacks have comparable testosterone levels, blacks will tend to be more violent due to their higher prevalence of the 3 repeat allele. Since C stations have a 3 repeat allele frequency that is comparable to blacks, other explanations are needed to explain their lower violence rates, age, body mass index, race and other determinants of steroid hormone variability the heritage family study. This study of 472 whites and 278 blacks showed a higher testosterone level in blacks that was not statistically significant. However, it looked at a variety of hormones and found that cortisol, a glucocorticoid, is significantly lower in blacks than whites. A 1981 Japanese study by Kawasaki and others found that young Japanese and American white women have similar morning cortisol levels. The morning cortisol levels found by Tamara and others in 1994 of Japanese, Chinese and Korean Americans were even higher than those found by Kawasaki and others. Thus, cortisol level differences between blacks and Asians could help explain different rates of violence. Serum estrogen, but not testosterone, levels differ between black and white men in a nationally representative sample of Americans. This was one of the larger studies. This cross-sectional study looked at the 1,413 men in the third National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. It included 674 non-Hispanic whites, 363 non-Hispanic blacks, and 376 Mexican Americans. It found that Mexican Americans have significantly more testosterone than non-Hispanic whites, after accounting for percent body fat. Non-Hispanic blacks had higher average testosterone than non-Hispanic whites, but the difference was not statistically significant. Non-Hispanic blacks did have significantly higher estradiol, which is a major estrogen in men, than the other two groups. In 1999, Turner and others showed that Chinese men and presumably white Australian men have equal estradiol levels. In 1991, Dajang and others found that 50 to 79-year-old Japanese men had lower estradiol levels than Dutch men of the same age range. Thus, higher estrogen levels may also contribute to higher violence rates among blacks. Racial-slash-ethnic variations in male testosterone levels are probable contributor to group differences in health. Another study of 3,654 whites, 525 blacks, 200 Hispanics, 34 Asians, and 49 Native Americans found that Asians had the highest testosterone level before controlling for weight, followed by blacks. After controlling for weight, blacks had the highest testosterone level. Previous research has shown that increased weight lowers testosterone. Jacobson and others in 2006 and Dajja and others in 1991 found that East Asians had significantly lower testosterone levels, but Turner and others actually found that people in China had more testosterone than both Chinese and non-Chinese Australians. Clearly, environmental conditions influence testosterone levels. More research is needed to determine to what extent ethnic slash racial hormone level differences are genetic. A genetic mutation found in most Koreans, but absent in most Swedes, does affect urine testosterone excretion, but not blood levels, according to Jacobson and others. Nair all mechanisms of genetic risk for impulsivity and violence in humans. Here, 90 whites were analyzed by functional MRI and structural MRI. 3.5 and 4 repeats are referred to as MAOAH. 3 and 5 repeats are referred to as MAOAL. Those with just 2 repeats were excluded. MAOAL individuals showed a significant reduction in volume that encompassed virtually the entire singular gyrus and bilateral amygdala. In addition, we found significant reductions in insula and hypothalamus. Relative to the volume in MAOAH subjects, reductions averaged around 8%. It is noteworthy that the most robust structural changes were observed in cingulate, the brain region with the highest density of serotonin receptors within the human cortex and the recipient of dense projections from amygdala. Inhibitory control of prepotent cognitive responses is thought to be critically dependent on caudal aspects of anterior cingulate. Our study of genetic influences on cognitive impulse control revealed a sex-dependent impairment in precisely this area of cingulate, affecting men only.